I think the, big, it. So the biggest, it's really, the biggest really mission. Sad at a lot of levels. The biggest misinformation is what you've just said there. To blame Peter Dutton for the no victory is absolute misinformation because, as you quite rightly said, yeah. Jacinta Price and Warren yeah. Mundine were the ones. Oh, also, I think a special shout-out to Lydia Thorpe and Marsha Langton and that <laughs> communist dude, whoever he was, and Albanese himself did a lot oh, for uh, it. And Megan Davis. Exactly. I think that they were definitely the champions of the no cause. But look, is it a bit disingenuous for some of these people in the S camp? They say they care about the plight of Indigenous Australians, who they've never cared about before. And then they turned around and called people like Jacinta Price and Warren Mundine's things like coconuts and Uncle Tom's and the white help truly atrocious slurs. Does that invalidate their so-called virtuous vibe? Oh, look, in the minds of anyone with, with any modicum of, uh, of decency, um, it, it would. Look, at one level, of course, as you point out, this is puerile, absolutely puerile. Um, but at another level, it's actually pathetic in the true sense of the word. The, the, the word it comes from the Greek word pathos, which means it just it, it excites sadness. Um, and the, the, the sad, this is the saddest part about this whole thing, it's not only has it been so divisive um, at, and it's divided families, it's divided friendships uh, and, and, and the like, but it's also brought out some of the worst things uh, I've seen uh, and many of us have seen in, in, in politics um, in, in, and in, indeed in public debate. And I think we really have to ask ourselves how it is that so many people who exhibit these exhibit these traits can now be um, in, in senior positions in public life. I think, I think that's the saddest thing about it. And interestingly enough, one other thing I'll say is there are interesting comparisons also with the Republican referendum. I mean, I remember that quite well. Um, and the excuses that were trotted out then why people overwhelmingly rejected it. Oh, look, um, if you were not educated, you didn't understand civics, so you would have voted no because you didn't understand what it, what it really meant. Um, you know, so the uneducated riffraff, you know, the people down there that, that really don't understand anything vote no, the same thing's being trotted out now. Um, and again, the same, uh, the, the same um, temper tran tantrums we saw after the Republic was voted down, we, we're, seeing, we're seeing again. And also the fact that the, who was on board with the Republic, you know, the, the media, the elites, the corporates, yeah, and, and the law firms. I mean, my old firm declared its support ages ago uh, before before the, the, the detail or the, the proposal even came out. I mean, imagine a lawyer saying, oh, look, I think you're going to win uh, to a client before he's seen any of the evidence. I mean, anyone who runs a legal practice like that won't be in legal practice for long. So it's, it's just so sad and, and distressing at, at many levels. But, look, it's, it's a great, it was a great victory for Australia and a great victory for common sense.